sometimes we as college students don't get our subsistence until about um, two months later. And you know, we have house rent to pay, we're not working, and we are coming from different islands where we don't have family members here to help and support us, even if the subsistence is late. Senior student at the Grand Tour Community College, Natalia Butterfield, was one of the only students brave enough to speak on camera about the matter. But she was not the only one claiming that, that there has been inconsistency in the payments of their $550 monthly subsistence from the Ministry of Education. While some students receive check payments, others have the money transferred directly to their bank accounts. Butterfield says that when she, along with other students, go to the Treasury to inquire about their payments, they are told to come back later. Every month, about the 28th or the 31st, you get a check. So, and you guys have been seeing your checks, what, moving into the next month? Well, moving into the next month, later. a whole month later. So you, sometimes you haven't been getting your subsistence for about a month? Yes. Ministry officials would not comment on camera. However, one official in a conversation with News 4 refuted the claim, saying that the ministry is making the scheduled payments and at times funds are even processed earlier than scheduled. However, Butterfield, along with other scholarship students, claim that this has not been the case. According to them, since the beginning of the 2009 school year, there has been instances where they have received two checks at one period as a result of back payments. Yes, um, it is very stressful because you come to school sometimes, you don't have any lunch money, you have to borrow money from a friend or two, you know, and we don't even have a cafeteria up here to the school. We eat chips and juice and things like that, and I think that matter really needs to be addressed. Students who qualify for and benefit from this monthly allowance are mainly high school graduates that migrated from their home island to attend the Grand Turk or Providence Yalis branches of the community college. For WIV 4 News, I'm Nikara John.